what's up guys I am up here in the mountains of Colorado somewhere and uh, I'm not just saying that I actually don't know where I am this time um, we drove up here with a lady named Dr. Levo who is Colorado's premier herpetologist she's pretty much number one in the state and uh, me Tim Warfel and our friend Joey Kellner who's also a seasoned naturalist came up here with her and what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the boreal toad uh, Bufo boreus and Axorus boreus now I guess it would be and uh, it's an endangered species here in Colorado. It's actually Colorado's only endangered species. And there was a report of a toad here a while ago, and Lauren came and confirmed it with a male. I believe this was last year. So we're up here now to see if maybe this is a breeding site, and it would be a pretty exciting discovery. So we're out here running around looking for toads today, and um, this is not a tribute to Michael Jackson, but it's really uh, kind of a sensitive thing with chemicals and so forth. You know, they're amphibians, so the idea is to grab it with this so that none of the bug spray or uh, skin secretions or anything like that get on the toad. So it's kind of the real deal here. We're doing some real research and um, I don't know, we're just going to kind of mosey around here and hope to find some of these toads. So let's see how it goes. Alright, so this is our spot here. This is the habitat. That's a beaver dam over there. And if you check that out, it sure does look like it would have some toads, huh? Those are some of our peeps there. There's Dr. Levo on the left, Tim. Here, hold him up. You're the only one to find a herp so far. Tim's got a nice western terrestrial garter. Looks like a big female from where I'm standing. That's one big male. That's awesome though, good to see. I had to stop for a second because I turned around and you can see snow up on the mountain still. Isn't that amazing? It's mid-July. It's like a hundred degrees down in Denver and we still have snow up here in the mountains. Pretty cool. So this is a habitat I don't normally herp. Tim just pulled a western terrestrial garter out of here which I thought was pretty impressive considering the dense vegetation. And we're still in our search for the boreal toad. So far no luck but field herping is not for quitters. Okay, so we are still in the mountains. We're still looking for those boreal toads. And uh, we just bleached our boots off to decontaminate in case we had chytrid fungus on there. And I've still got my Michael Jackson glove on in case I see one of these things. And I'm plowing my way through these nasty willows, trying to find an open spot here in hopes of seeing one of these little toads. But so far, we have found nothing. Some snow up on the mountains there still. And uh, some boreal toad hunters checking out this cool site here. So we're pretty high up there. I don't really know what the elevation is, but you can see where the tree line ends there. So I don't know. Hey, what's our elevation here? You guys know? 10-2. 10, two. 10, two? 10 two. So we're up there. And we are continuing our search for toads. Alrighty. This looks like good habitat. Very good habitat. We've got a meadow here. There's beaver dams. The shoreline is actually, uh, well, we can see. So I'm going to poke around here and see if we can make some kind of big discovery. Damn, this is tough habitat. I mean, look at this. And I can't see where I'm putting my feet. And there's all these huge depressions in the ground that I keep falling into. These toads are tough, man. These toads are tough. I hired some hooting and hollering over here. And it's hard to imagine what they'd be hooting and hollering about, except for a boreal toad. Let's see what they came up with. Yeah! We're yeah! Let's hear about it. Describe the situation. Actually, leave it in there, but just get some air in there. Do you want to leave it in? Yeah, yeah for, just for just a minute. 
Okay, 187. Yeah, he was just right, uh, right in the woods here, just hopping along. Yes. Just like you expected toads to do. Okay, so, okay, so we're clean swab. swab. The belly here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25. Okay, 25 so, and slabs. it's a male. Oh, here, okay. And you know it's a you male because tell. why? Well, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's chirping. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, that, you can feel the vibrations when you hold them. Sometimes the females will vibrate, but they won't actually call. And then the thumb here has this dark callus on it. For grasping the female? For amplexus, yeah. Oh, okay. In fact, he has a little darkness on this next finger over, but the thumb in particular has the callus. How about that? And congratulations. Nice job, guys. This is tough terrain. I was really reluctant to bring you because it's tough terrain. We don't mind. We, no, we tough, like tough this. doesn't bother us. Where's he at? All right, well, wouldn't you know, Tim and Joey found a boreal toad just like they found that round-tailed horned lizard the other day. And in doing so, made my weekend for a second time over. Considering these guys are on the decline. Yeah, this species is in big trouble, which is why Lauren is out here studying them. And why we trekked all the way up here for a whole day just to find one toad. <laughs>